morning from Welcome, Maryland. So the girls and I got to park at the customer last night. And I woke up to a fantastic 7 a.m. morning view. Of course, 7 a.m. morning. That was redundant. You get the idea. Check it out. And this is where we parked. Alrighty folks, I found the unit. I have already taken my pre-trip pictures and submitted them. Now I'm going to hook to the unit and uh, pull it on out. But um, there's some prep work I need to do on the paperwork. They said it was ready to go, but it is not ready to go. It's minor stuff. I just need to, I'll need to raise the jacks and I think I'll need to pull that portable sewer doodad thing out from underneath it because in order to get this unit out <clears throat> excuse me I'm going to have to scooch it over because it's real close to this power pole I had to take a phone call my mentor called me at least with Horizon um this this driver's the one that recruited me into the apportion plate unit and Horizon has assigned me as his mentee. So we kind of joke and I'm like, yeah, you're my mentor. And he's like, yeah, I made 23 cents off of you. <laughs> you know, that kind of silly stuff. But um, uh, anyway, as far as getting this unit ready to go, um, yeah, we're going to have to lower some jacks. And of course, the customer license plate is on it. And these bricks back here will be okay, but the blocks that are holding the front jacks, I, I will need to slide them out of the way because I will definitely run over them when I'm pulling this unit out. But but when I hook to it, I'll need to kind of scrunch it out. I'll need to scooch it over because I don't want to hit that uh, electric box on the other side. So it, it'll be a little bit of... It'll be a little bit of repositioning to get it out of here, but it'll be all right. And if I didn't mention where I'm at, yeah, water is my happy place. All righty, I've hooked it to its spot and started pulling it out. I thought I was going to scoot it over and then swing out this way. But it turns out the way I'm maneuvering it, I'm actually going to be able to clear the pole and go to the left. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Because you know I feel I'm a terrible explainer. So we'll be able to swing this corner to the left and, and come on out. And then after I'm on level ground, I'll uh, hook up my weight distribution hitch, and then I'm going to swing by the office and find out if they've got air because all of the air pressure is low in the tires. But we're we're doing good. We're doing good. Alrighty, folks. We are just about ready to go. I have the weight distribution hitch in place, and. I checked in with the office to find out if they needed to sign any paperwork, and they said no, they'd been in touch with the customer. So I'm going to head the shop that's on site 
because uh, I told him I needed an air compressor to air up uh, the tires. So I'm heading over there too. What? Chloe got to run around outside on the ground, no leash or anything. Squirt was like, yeah, I'm not having any of this cold stuff. Well, let me in. See that boat that's in the bay? I watched them lift it out of the water with that crane. From a distance, mind you. Alrighty folks, Goshen, Indiana. Delivered. Dropped off. Delivered. Same thing. Um, I will exit the yard and do all my exity stuff. Exodus stuff. And then I'm heading up to Michigan. I found a really nice Airbnb. And reasonable price. I'm going to chill there for the weekend. Because the next load I'm dispatched on doesn't deliver till Tuesday in Ohio and I'm like I'll just chill so I'm gonna chill so I'm gonna say chow bow how wow oh my word it's cold up here but um yep it was a good run very very uh uneventful so that's good so I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode now so I can get on to my next one. The only other thing I gotta do over the next few days is I gotta get that fifth wheel hitch put back in place because my next load is a fifth wheel. So, but right now in this cold, the only thing I wanna do is get in my truck and get warm. So I'm gonna say goodbye to everybody. Thank you for watching and coming along on the journey with me. And just remember guys, it's all about the perspective.